What's going on guys? My name is Alex and today I'm going to be going over five reasons that your store isn't converting and what you can do to actually change that based on my own experience and extensive amounts of research. So let's dive into it. I really wish you guys could see behind the scenes right now. Okay, the number one problem I would say would have to be trust under all the aspects that fall under trust. For example, um, your store might look like a scam, right? So you click on it, there's too many pop-ups. We've all gone on stores that, um, you know, they go above and beyond with the pop-ups. It's in your face, it just looks like a scam. Like, you don't wanna deal with it. And even if you don't think it's a scam, it's just irritating, you know, enter your email here, enter your email here, enter your email here, when someone just wants to go through and find like one simple product, right? Um, bad design can fall under trust too, like if your website is poorly designed, like bad coloring, um, you know, just everything's kind of clustered and it looks very poor, that can affect the trust with your customers too, because, you know, they don't trust your website, they think that you're running a scam, and immediately they're just going to leave your store. Um, too much coloring under bad design too, I've seen that as an issue. Uh, there's actually certain colors that have different traits with psychology. For example, blue builds trust, um, you know, it just goes on. A lot of people will actually implement those colors into your store, even if it's not just the background, like little buttons and things. Um, trust badges too. You don't want to go overboard with trust badges. I've seen stores where there's like two trust badges in the description, it's on the footer of your store, it's in every every corner there's a trust badge you don't need that many you just need to put the most basic whatever trust badge you think will help your store um, on it like in the product description I have mine in the footer um, another big thing under trust is reviews um, you figure you go to someone's store for example Amazon and you're buying a product that you've never bought before you want to see what other people have to say about it you want to look at the reviews, you want to see the photos of it, like uh, real people's photos. And yeah, reviews build trust, it, studies have shown. Um, I don't know the exact studies, but I think it was 90 something percent of people trust reviews as if they were talking to like a friend or family member of theirs. Um, I'll look into that. And not enough info, so your product descriptions, uh, if you're using you know the simple AliExpress product descriptions, you're already failing. You know, you've already gone wrong, you're gonna to need to change that. That should have been the first thing you've changed on your store. I know a lot of people actually keep the product pictures from AliExpress. Sometimes that's okay, but the product descriptions is never okay. Never. Okay, reason number two, your offers. Now, you have to get creative with your offer, whether you're running Facebook ads, whether you're just making an Instagram post, or just writing the product description itself. To sell a product, usually you're going to want to come up with an offer. You don't just see people running Facebook ads with just the product and you know no text or anything and just the link to the product. Um, you know, there's many different offers like ten dollars off your order, um, spend a certain amount, get free shipping. Free shipping just standalone is a good offer. Um, buy one get one, buy one get one half off. A free gift with a certain purchase amount, a free gift with a certain item. You know, there's so many different things you can do, like um, Dunkin' Donuts. I go there about every single day for my coffee, whether it's Starbucks or Dunkin'. Uh, sit, peel, win. It's a thing they do just about every year where you buy a large coffee, you get to peel this off and win something. This is a free order of hash browns. Oh, great. It expired today. So that's useless for me now. But um, free order of hash browns. Now, I'm going to go get, there is no minimum purchase on that. So I would go get my hash browns. I'd be more than likely to get something with it, like a coffee. So they're gonna make me a returning customer based on my one purchase of a coffee the other day when I won the free hash brown. So I'm gonna come back, get the free hash browns, and buy something else, more than likely. So you wanna get very creative with your offers. Um, you know, implement it around your ads, do automatic discounts and advertise that, discount codes. Shopify has it all. Just play around, test different things, and see what works for you. Reason number three on my list, ad targeting. So 
Whatever you're using, I'm just going to use Facebook ads for this example because that's what I use for most of my sales on my store. When I'm running ads, it's mostly through Facebook. Um, ad targeting. So I find it extremely challenging when you're starting a new store to pinpoint your exact target audience. Um, you know, you want to test many, many, many different audiences and uh, use, use the different tools inside of Facebook ads, uh, like Audience Insights, to actually find newer audiences, test the uh, suggestions when you're actually pinpointing uh, the interests. You know, there's so many ways you can go about it, but you never want to stop with one audience, even if you have an ad that's working. Test different audiences, duplicate that ad within the same audience to reach new people. You know, it, it never ends. There's unlimited people, almost, to test your ads. Now, audience testing is actually a bigger subject in itself. So if you want me to make a video covering, um, you know, how to find the right audience for your ads, you know, messing around with audiences on Facebook ads, just let me know. I'm more than willing to make a video covering that if any of you need that. But for now, I'm just gonna, you know, keep it there. Your ad targeting, you need to improve. Now, without just saying ad targeting, your ads can single-handedly be one of the most important aspects of your store's conversions. Um, you know, you see so many people testing one ad creative with like one AliExpress image, just a white background. Uh, you know, you're not getting creative with the text. You're just keeping it plain and simple. But when it comes down to it, you're running a serious business right now. Um, you're putting your ad in front of thousands, millions, you know, billions, how, however big your ad budget is, in front of very, very many people. Um, now, it's a very competitive business, it really is, like, no matter what niche you're in, there's going to be competition everywhere, so if your competitor is one step ahead of you, it's going to stay that way, if you just, you know, you keep using the basic uh, photos, basic captions. Now, like I said, with getting creative, you want to get creative with the ad text, and you want to test, you know, multiple captions, multiple photos, and multiple audiences. You know, you never stop testing. You really never do. Um, you want to test uh, different images. You want to try different ad styles. For example, carousel ads. Um, you know, video ads. Uh, just single image ads. Uh, you know, just keep testing. Okay, so personally, number five is not a reason that you are not getting sales, but it's actually a way to push more sales. So, so many people focus solely on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, um, you know, Snapchat ads, Google ads, but they never use free traffic. Um, free traffic can easily be, you know, the highest revenue you make on your store. And so many people don't use it and that's why so many people fail um, free traffic uh, abandoned carts so say you're getting lots and lots of visitors on your store but none of them are converting if you make a like genius abandoned cart email instead of just using the basic Shopify one you throw in discounts you build trust with your customer you make them want to come back to your store and complete the purchase there you go um, SEO, I see so many people not paying attention to SEO when that is crucial to your store. Uh, I can make a video on that if you would like, just comment below, but you know, there's so many other videos, articles, and anything to do with SEO already, I would look into that. Um, building a brand, now this doesn't work for every store, but you know, you have your Facebook page, your Instagram page, Twitter, uh, you know, whatever you use for your brand, it can be Snapchat, Pinterest, whatever you want to build a brand out of it and you don't just want to post the same product every day but you want to post uh, for example on Instagram you want to post images related to your niche and product now I would for me personally I make posts like that reposting other people's posts or making my own and every few days I like to change it up and add one of my products in there and tag it on Instagram but just keep the overall layout looking very nice and professional like a brand because that's what it is. Now you really want to brand your store like that on your different pages because a lot of people when they see your ads, I can't say a lot, but some people 
will click on your Facebook page, your Instagram page, and you know if it just if it looks terrible, there goes your customer. But you know if you built a nice brand, uh, they could buy something from you. They could recommend you to their friends. You know you never know; it's endless. Or if you're posting good content, people will tag their friends, especially if you you know post it in the uh, caption tag three friends blah 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 you can do giveaways for that but you know that's another video um, but yeah you just want to brand your uh, store you know on all the pages and you can actually run free promotions like that I run a lot of promotions on my Instagram stories for my store and they work like you can check the stats on Instagram see how many clicks um, and how many sales from that exact product so that's the fifth and final reason that I have. Now before I go, I do want to say endless hours of research and testing have gone into this video to try to help you guys out. So if, I, if this video helped you at all, please leave a like. It helps me out greatly and it's free. So hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. My name's Alex and it's been great. See ya.